Yo, man, I'm sitting here with my man, Antiz the Vinci, man. I want to ask him a few questions, if he don't mind. You don't mind me asking you a few questions. Oh, you good. Okay, you okay. Good. I see we got this screen system right here. This your clothing line and everything. And right. Hey, man, I, I'm really I'm really with you. I'm rocking it, man. I appreciate it. I hope I'm wearing it to, to the best of my ability, making you continue to look good, because you looking good, looking like money, shining like money. I'm even feeling like money with this right here on, you know what I'm saying? That's a million dollar sweatshirt right now. That's what's up, that's what's up. Well, check this out right here, man. What inspired you to start making music, man, rapping, doing your thing? Well, one day I was, in, I was a kid, I was probably about five or six, and I seen my mama rapping in the living room, and she wrote in cursive. So I couldn't really read it for real, but I seen her rapping. So I always tried to, as I grew up and learned how to read cursive, I was reading it. So I was like, I, I probably could do the same thing as in my jeans. Well, man, I think you probably answered my second question to my first question, because I was going to ask you who really influenced you to start rapping as well. Who was your biggest influence in rapping other than maybe your mom, man? Who else? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, they're my top all-time artist, Lil Wayne. OK, OK. The GOAT. Bro, this latest track you just made, Learn to Forgive. What inspired you to write that, man? What, what's, what's, and what's the message that you're trying to put out there to everybody on that track you made, man? Basically, uh, <clears throat> like learning, like in the Bible, you got to learn to forgive. It, you can do the worst things and God going to forgive. So it's only right that you forgive everybody that did wrong to you or probably going to do wrong to you in the near future. So we're going we gonna to forgive, but we ain't going to forget, right? That don't mean you got to be. You know, what you mean by forgiving? Do you have to continue to be cool with this person or you just forgiving them so that you can go on and elevate to a higher level and you may lead them where they at or do you still let them ride on the rocket with you, bro? I leave them where they at. Okay, okay. I leave them where they at. We'll give, we'll give, them, we'll give them a pad but they can't get back on the train, right? Okay. You're one and you're done. One and you're done. Okay. That's how, that's how COVID stated to me. Okay. The creative process of your music, man. I know that you told me before that it's like therapy for you, man. How would you speak on that? How did you get the creative activity in order to make your music, and how is it therapeutic for you? Well, I usually go on based on what I'm feeling on that day or that month, or sometimes I either feed off other people's energy like that don't make music, so I make music for them so they can relate. Okay, so current events, different things like that, that would make you make certain songs, what somebody else has been going through and got may have nothing to do with you, but you just want to look out for the people. You want to be the voice to put it on a track in order to, you know, make people feel good or make people know that people are acknowledging what you're going through and I want to try to help you through that. That's what you're pretty much saying? Yeah. Okay, okay. That, that's 1,000 right there, man. Yo, that's what we need more of, man. Positivity and creativity all in one, man. All the voice for people that ain't able to talk. Okay. The voice okay. for people who ain't able to talk. Well, that's what's or up, able man. to sing, or able to put in the rhythm or words. That yeah, I done been through a lot, so I can help somebody. I can save okay. a life with my music. Because music is uh, therapy for most. I, I know I like certain songs. And, no matter if I have a bad day, man, it's a couple of songs on your album that I listen to, and it just motivate me throughout the day, you know, especially when I have my playlist playing, and uh, it just pop on there unexpectedly, and I'm like, yeah, it made me think about that certain issue or problem, or even sometimes good things, man, you know, as I, I, I know you very, very personally, so I, I know the transitions to a lot of your music, so it, it touched me dear to the heart, man, I want to let you know that, man. It take it, it, it's like a history lesson, man, because I've saw the the elevation and the involvement in a lot of the things that you do, the music and everything, and other careers that you have uh, accomplished, athletically, uh, educationally. So, man, you you you're a real real solid and smart brother, man. Street sense, you know, off the real street sense, man. You know, your entrepreneurial skills, man outside of just the music, man. Would you um, speak on that for everybody to let them know what else you have going on in your p professionalism, in your life, that um, all the goals and the things that you have 
achieved in a lot of your platforms. And also, man, um, the entrepreneur side of you, man. Tell us about that. Well, I started off selling candy in school. And, like, I, I wanted my own money. So I go to skating best, like, you know, little kids stuff. So I learned how to sell candy and, like, how to save the money and budget and buy the candy okay. back. So if you got to re-up and buy the candy back, and you ain't going to make no money for the next week. So you go to skate every next week, and the All next right. week, and the next week. And then I follow up with, I wanted to brand myself and include that with a collab album, Street Sense. So I had thought on that. It was like, what really saved people's lives for it? Like, sometimes they be like, book smart and street smart. But you really need street smart to survive out here because, okay. you know, a book won't necessarily teach you how to cross the street. All right. By itself. All right. I got you. I got you, man. So, yeah, that's that's what's up, man. It's okay, man. One more question, man. Before we end this thing, man, where can everybody find you at? And what's your uh, platforms or whatever, social media, so forth and so on? So let the people know where they can reach out or be able to listen to or either buy some product from Antis and DaVinci, man. I got all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and it's all um, uh, under Antiza DaVinci, A-N-T-E-E-Z-Y-D-A-B-I-N-C-I. -E -E also, you can find my music on Spotify, iTunes, um, also on Antiza DaVinci, A-N-T-E-E-Z-Y-D-A-B-I-N-C-I. -E -E and you find my apparel, www.streetsense23.com, www.streetsense23.com. What about your professional business, though, man? You you know, what about the professionalism of yourself? You know, I want I want everybody to know also what you do, man, athletically, you know what I'm saying, as a professional. Oh, yeah, I am a pro bas baseball player. I play for the Trinidad Triggers in Colorado in the Pecos League. You can find, you type in www.pecosleague.com, hit the search bar, hit uh, find Trinidad Triggers, you're going to see me on the roster. You tap in on the live streams. I think they're like 6 or $7. You see me go crazy every day. I, I think I, I think I saw you, man. I think they call you something like Mr. Home Run <laughs> over there, man, on, on, on that side of the state of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the USA, man. So, you know, I've been watching you, man. You, they call me you're the, really uh, doing good. The wheels of the Pecos League, the fastest man in the Pecos League. That's what they call me. Last but not least, man, um, before we get all the way out of here, I know, I, I'm, I'm, I know you kind of push for time. But tell them about, you know, uh, the magazine that you got, man. Oh, yeah, we started, we branded off a uh, magazine, me, Larry Jones, and uh, Willie Moe, and um, Patrick Dick, and Dwayne. It's called Pressure Magazine, www.pressure23.com, www.pressure23.com. Okay, man. So, one more question about the magazine. What what the magazine pertain in it? All the upcoming is only upcoming artists. So like from Birmingham, and we're gonna move into other states and cities as well. And we also doing the um, issues like we got the uh, YSL gunner scandal of him snitching. Is it snitching or not snitching? We got that going on. And if you need, if you want to uh, interview. Hit up Lyric Jones on Facebook, L-Y-R-I-C-J-O-N-E-S. And request an interview, we're going to get right with you. All right, man. Well, man, you take it easy, brother. Man, I know it might be a minute before I get back with you because you, you're such a busy young man. But, man, whenever I need you, I can just hit you up, right? You're going to come back and see me, right? All right. All right, brother. Thank you, man. I'll answer my phone. All right, for sure. She said she wanna spend time with me, but I wanna autumn all. Fuck that shit, can't get no more love out to the home. They did me wrong so